All this week on Dateline Schools, we're learning about some of the fun learning opportunities that the Port Huron Museums here in, uh, in town have to offer to us, and they're free of charge this year, you might want to add. And to tell us all about it, my special guest is the Community Engagement Manager for the museums, Andrew Kircher. And Andrew, I think one of the best kept secrets the museums has is your Thomas Edison Depot. Tell us about that. Yeah, so Thomas Edison grew up in Port Huron. He's certainly Port Huron's favorite son. I think most people know that. There's enough things in town named for Thomas Edison. <laughs> Um, from an elementary school to, you know, plazas where pizza stores are, things like that. But um, what a lot of people don't realize is we do have a whole museum dedicated uh, to Thomas Edison, his, both his time in town and his contributions to the world. Because honestly, the world would be such a different place without Thomas Edison. Everything from uh, light bulbs famously, but we think about phonographs, moving pictures. We wouldn't be doing this without Thomas Edison. Uh, so you can come learn about that at the very train depot he worked at as a teenager. So the train depot there dates to the 1850s. It was built as a Grand Trunk Depot in 1857. So even without a connection to Thomas Edison, that would be a real historical gem for the community. But the fact that he worked there as a teenager really puts it over the top as a great place to come and visit. It's the same doors he was walking through, the same place where he was riding the train from Port Huron down to Detroit, selling newspapers, candies, gum, that sort of thing. So you can learn all about uh, some of his childhood exploits. There were a lot of them, and how a lot of the things that influenced him in Port Huron would influence him throughout his life and set him on the course that turned him into the world's greatest inventor. And as you drive by the museum, you see the rail car there that's uh, you know, symbolic too. Yeah, so the train car right outside the depot, it actually is a little bit later than the depot, it dates to the 1890s, but one of the neat things is that's a train car very similar to the kind he would have worked on, and that particular train car was actually built just a couple hundred yards from where it now sits. So back in the 1890s, that area under now what's the Blue Water Bridge was the Grand Trunk Car Shops. So they were building train cars like that. What are the hours the museum are operating this summer? So all of our museums right now, from Memorial Day to a couple weeks after Labor Day, we open seven days a week, 10 to 5. It's pretty easy. So every single day of the week, 10 to 5, you can show up for enjoying that free admission. More tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.